somebody's village looks like somebody's capital. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not fair in Africa. Hey. Oh. It's not fair. Oh. Uh, it's not fair. Uh, like. <laughs> I just have to say this. I read on the internet that Namibia got the best roads in Africa. I never believed it until I got in here. Believe me, inside the city, they got fantastic road, asphalt. You will never see a single pothole in the city. But I never knew that it cut across the entire country. We've been driving for almost 700 kilometers from Vinduk. We are here in the north. We are on our way to Opo. Is it Opo? Yeah, where the Himba people live. And I just have to confirm and cement that Namibia got the best roads in Africa. Can you believe it? Like, the whole road, man, we've not encountered a single pothole. You know, let me tell you something, a fact that I think most of you don't know. Even when you come to Namibia and you find a dirty road on Tad Road, it's so smooth. When I say the best roads, I mean the quality of road infrastructure remains unchallenged. Did you know that Namibia has been ranked best roads in Africa five times in a row? I guess you didn't know that. So all you need to do to thank me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and help me reach 900,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like this episode and also share so that other African countries can emulate Namibia. On my last day in Namibia, I wanted to know the people behind this great success and it led me to the Road Authority of Namibia. I want to say a big shout out to Tio for linking me up with the CEO and the Executive Officer of Engineering of the Road Authority of Namibia. How proud? Do Namibians feel to know that they got the best roads in Africa? Do you guys feel proud at all? Yeah, um, we are proud, <laughs> but it's no. We took it, it. It's normal. It's normal. Yeah. And do you know the rank of Namibia in terms of the world? Yeah, twenty third. Twenty third. Yeah. You know, you're ahead of China. Yes. And which country are you ahead of again? Oh, it's, uh, UK or UK? India? and in there. Wow. What was the first ever road built in the country? The road between Wolfish Bay and Swakopmund is oh. the oldest. It was the first ever. Mm. And from there, you guys kept on moving and moving. Yeah, uh, before independence, the road network was still good. But then after independence, the government has concentrated in funding huge road infrastructures and also rural access um, roads. 
there is there are specific targets just for rural um, accessibility. On behalf of all Africans, we want to say congratulations to the road authority in Namibia. I mean, they didn't they didn't tell me to say this, but I'm impressed because anytime I travel within Africa, I always want to use flights. Mm. But when I came to Namibia, I saved money because mm. I wanted to use road. So I want to say on behalf of all Africans, congratulations. And what do you think other African countries can learn from Namibia? Just maybe to have the to stick to a performance management system. Then corruption too is another problem. Yeah, and uh, well, See, the whole of talk about no, no, the whole of Africa should run away from, from corruption. corruption. My name is Wadamaya. I'm an African content creator from Ghana who is on a journey to tell positive stories about Africa. And Namibia is my country number 22. And I got shocked when I got here. Because I've been hearing that Namibia got the best roads in Africa, but I never believed it until I got in here. And that is why I really had to come and find out how did Namibia do it. Because I believe that the entire continent needs to learn from Namibia. So if you can help me introduce yourself and you tell me who you are before you answer my question for me. Thank you. <laughs> my name is Rauna Nelao Hamwo. Okay. I'm a civil engineer by profession. Amazing. And I am the um, executive officer for engineering in the Roads Authority of Namibia. How did Namibia achieve this success in terms of roads? It's huge investment from government. The government invests a lot of money into the road infrastructure and we have a dedicated team of managers we are road managers because the the mission of the roads authority or the objective of the existence of the roads authority is to manage in a safe and efficient road network so we concentrate in efficiency and safety um, as far as our success story is concerned is that this this really comes from um, the policy which was uh, undertaken by our government um, in late uh, 90s where uh, we went through a road sector reform and that uh, road sector reform um, created a uh, the establishment or established the Road Authority of Namibia to manage the national road network. And also at the same time, um, it created the Road Fund Administration to fund the operations uh, of the management of the road network. That's where uh, we started. So these operations started in 2000. And then um, from there, of course, we started making uh, Rose Authority was created and with emphasis dedicated to ensure that uh, the management of the road network from the maintenance, uh, the rehabilitation, uh, the planning, uh, the construction of new ones, uh, both uh, bitumen standards as well as the, the gravel roads. That's where really the, the success started. But uh, also as we moved, um, we really looked at a very, very focused uh, strategy where we then balanced the maintenance as well as the, the, the new development, especially our effective, you know, most of our countries um, road network as a backbone of any economy. Is the failure is mostly if you neglect maintenance. So what we have done, we then really focused our strategy in ensuring that we maintain our roads uh, as we proceed or as we continue uh, building new ones. That, that's the strategy. Of course, that strategy could not be carried if you do not have uh, an effective uh, leadership uh, governance framework uh, people themselves um, and innovation uh, as well as uh, uh, the, the, the uh, competent uh, uh, staff 
and then and not only internal competing staff, but also creating the capacity within the country uh, to be able to obtain or get the value for money. So th this is really what what has pushed us to be proud today that uh, we are ranked number one um, in, 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 in Africa to have a, a good or quality world. So we, we are quite happy and we would also want to share our experiences. We want to know, like, every year annually, how much money does the government invest in roads in the country? Over two billion Namibian dollars every year. And since the formation of the Roads Authority or oh, its operation in 2000 so far, and the Road Fund Administration has invested more than 20 billion Namibian dollars in the road infrastructure. And what kind of um, measures does the government put in place to make sure that the engineers are constructing the road? Because some of us, where we're from, the government will give the money, and at the end of the day, the work is not done yet. But when I came to Namibia, even potholes, people are fixing it. Has the government put in place any, um, how do you call it, any um, measurement to ensure that people are really working on the roads in the country? Yeah, we have a very strict uh, performance management system. Okay. It's, it's all about KPIs. It's all about? KPIs, uh, key performance indicators. You have to always achieve your KPIs. Do you guys have um, time range? for contractors to finish a particular road? Yes. If we say it's 36 months, it should be 36 months. Anything outside that, we may impose penalties uh, according to the contract, unless those who don't perform. Give them a contract and they don't finish it? Well, what is the worst penalty you'll ever give a contractor who never finishes? There's it? a certain formula, I say, not more than a certain percentage of the whole contract and you pay until that maximum. This will keep them in check. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What about like... So, um, and if you perform, it's, uh, the policy is called the bonus and penalties. If you overperform quality and time-wise, we give you a bonus. This is beautiful. But, what about the um, people who does the maintenance? Is there a particular company or it's all coming from the road authority? Uh, we may, Look, uh, I will talk about the engineering services that okay. I had. Okay. There we have uh, network planning. It's a department, uh, a division, network planning. It has to do with uh, uh, the project planning, budgeting, feasibility studies. Then it goes to another division called network development, which is now going to like uh, Benson from network development and is the project control engineer of this project. Then there is network maintenance, it's another division. Yes, and there is technical services that hosts a um, road management system, mm. uh, laboratory services, training unit, and R&D, research and development, yeah, R&D. want to know what, what is the longest route in the country? B, it's it's known touristically is known as B1. 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 It connects. It connects. It's from the border with um, South Africa until the other border of Angola. Angola. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it has sections. We in the Roads Authority we know it's Trang Road one stroke one one stroke two, but it's all B1. B1. Mm. We have a medium to long term road master plan. And all the roads in Namibia are in that master plan. If there are new roads to be identified, they will also end into that master plan. We also have a road boards. Every region of Namibia has a road a roads board. Wow. Constituted by people from the community who represent their roads and who represent the problems on the roads, then bring them to the Minister of Works and Transport, and the Minister will then 
direct the rules authority, you do this, implement this project and do this and this, or put them in the master plan if they are new roads. Yeah, this so one was also has been in the master plan and okay. it was it was planned in the 70s, 1970s. You mean this road was planned in the 70s? Yes, because there is a road going to the airport. But because of the development of the town, wind is expanding, okay. we have certain rules to the conveyance conveyance roads because we have access roads and okay. conveyance roads. Yeah. So you may not branch off this road if it's a conveyance road, a trunk road. Now that one, the developments are gone until the airport. We have to abandon that as a trunk road because it was already planned ahead of time. Ahead of time that if the town grows towards the airport, then this will be the new road. So now the town is going close to the airport. That's yes. Why they are constructing a new road from here to the airport. So that that road can serve as um, a separate road to, to those uh, residents and businesses. People that, living around. Yes. And this one is a conveyance road. That is a road close. You can see that, that see. That's where the road used to end. And now, another road. They are continuing the road. We also want to know what are the advantages of having a good road in Namibia? The total transportation cost is reduced because you don't, will not have to change much of your tires and your spare parts and your time. You save time and that constitutes the total transportation cost. I think you can also use a new car for so long. Yes. So apart from the advantages, there should be disadvantages of having a good road. Yeah, a good road also brings out bad attitudes in drivers. They are not careful because nothing will stop them from speeding. They don't obey the rules of the road because the road is too good and they just speed over. Don't comply with the rules of the road. And we have many, many accidents in Namibia. I think Namibia is one, maybe the first country in the world with a lot of accidents. I mean, how can good roads cause accidents? Just attitude, attitude, the attitude because the, 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 the safety, the road safety 3E is engineering, enforcement and education. Are you not? We have safety campaigns to try to educate people. people. Maybe we are weak on the side of enforcement of the rules of the road. Engineering, as you can see, the roads are very good engineered. And education, we really try. Wow. But thought, maybe we are weak on enforcement. I thought bad roads bring bad accident. Like, it brings a lot of accident, but I never knew that good roads actually cause more accident. They do. Now I know. When the three E's are not working together. So, we need to enforce. Educate. educate and engineer the roads. Authority ministers, they will watch. If you have a message for them, what would that message be? Yeah, the uh, the message uh, is, is is that uh, uh, really for us, Africa, uh, it's quite a very uh, important country. We we do have the capacity to manage our continent, but in order for us to do that, uh, poverty is still a problem, and. Uh, Fortunately or unfortunately, most of the trade um, uh, issues in Africa uh, take place through uh, the road network. And therefore, it's important that we really rededicate our effort to improve our road network. The first thing is let's take care of what we have. Maintenance is, is key. Uh, good governance is key. Uh, leadership is key. And of course, uh, let's find a way of sustaining this operation through an effective funding models. Uh, most of the African continent countries now, they have turned to the road user uh, funding models where many of our uh,
countries have created road fund, uh, road fund or road maintenance agencies to fund that. I think that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. But uh, the 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 support and the and the long term uh, uh, vision of uh, our governments is very very critical uh, in order to achieve that. Because if you don't have the support of the political leadership, uh, the government, uh, the community, uh, then you you will have problem to mobilize what you what you want. So that's that's the message to, to my colleagues. Yes. Thank you. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. But is there anything that you really want to say about roads in Namibia that I never asked you? But there's something that you think people need to know. Well, we have a network of forty-eight thousand nine hundred kilometers. Uh, 8,900 uh, tired roads. Right now, because of the economic situation, not of Namibia but of the whole world, mm. we are moving to the low volume seal. We have a program for low volume seals, sealing the uh, gravel roads. Just to put a slurry seal okay. so that we tuck in the dust and we make it easy for those, the users of gravel roads. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me and I really appreciate your time.